God says, It is great to know what I desire from each person, but it is necessary to live the way I desire for each person. I don't just want you to know that living away from sin is good and it's what I desire, but I want you to actually live that way. It is easier said than done, but if you commit your life to me every day, it can be done. I love you. Dear God, I often rely on myself to solve all my problems, to the point where I find myself overthinking and living in constant worry. Lord, I pray to you, asking for the peace within my heart. Remind me that you are the one in control of everything and that you have wonderful plans for us. May you guide me to follow your plan and act according to your will. May your peace fill our hearts, and may we find comfort in your love. If you need God's lead, comment, Amen. Heavenly Father, we know you laid the foundations of the earth in the beginning and the heavens are the work of your hands. They will perish, but you will remain, they will change but you will always be the same. You are the Almighty God with all power, we give you honor, glory and praise. We are blessed to wake up to another new week and are thankful for all that you have planned for us. Even though we don't know what the week will bring, we ask that you would bless all that we endeavor to accomplish. And I ask that you would give everyone who reads this your unmistakable peace today, as the Holy Spirit continues to lead our way. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. God, I need more faith in my life. I believe in you, but sometimes I forget about your power and might. With you, all things are possible, so please help me trust you instead of trying to figure things out on my own and getting caught up in my thoughts and emotions. Teach me to let go and let you take the lead in my life. Help me fill my spirit with your word and give me a hunger to seek you. Teach me to walk by faith and not by sight. I want to take steps as you show me with no doubt in my heart. You say a little faith can move mountains, and I believe that you can do anything. Thank you for all the blessings in my life and for being a faithful God. In Jesus' name I pray, Amen. As this new month begins, May God shield you from all harm, uplift you in your moments of weakness, and bless you in all your endeavors. May each day of this month bring everlasting joy, and every week bring unending happiness. May abundance, blessings, and joy come your way throughout the month. May the Lord bless you as you come and go, and may He provide you with protection and favor. Amen. Lord, you are my protector, you are my strength, my refuge in times of trouble, and I will forever love you. Lord, I implore you not to let anything contrary to your will befall me. May my life align with your purpose, for I believe you have the best in store for me throughout my life. May your way of life be manifested in me even if it differs from the choices of the world. I am willing to obey your will, for I deeply understand that everything is at its best in your presence. Please be with me, Lord, and bless me. If God is important in your life, please comment Amen. If it's meant to be, it will be. If not, God will have something even better for you. Do not doubt for a single second and remember that God is forever conspiring in your favor, especially when it doesn't seem like it. Have full faith, total trust and complete surrender. And whatever you ask for in prayer, you will receive, if you have faith. 
God is saying to you today, I know you were up late last night worrying about your bills, that diagnosis, your children, and your future. So many scenarios ran through your mind last night. But you forgot about this scenario, your Heavenly Father coming to your house healing your body, increasing your finances, opening doors, bringing the right people into your life, and blessing your future. Give me your worries and I will give you peace. Trust me. I love you so much. Jesus said, do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. My father's house has many rooms. If that were not so, would I have told you that I am going there to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me so that you also may be where I am. John 14 verses 1 to 3 In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made, without him nothing was made that has been made. John 1 verses 1 to 3 The main point of Christianity isn't our favor, our miracle, or our next big blessing. The main point of all of this is God's glory. May he open our eyes to show us that it's wrong and selfish to make what he did out of his immense mercy about our comfort here on earth. God sees you and hears you. He knows the desires of your heart. Don't let the time you have been waiting for or the frustration you feel in this moment steal your hope. God is going to come through for you and orchestrate a beautiful story. Your future is bright. So, wait on him he will not disappoint you. James 5 verses 7 to 8 Be patient, then, my friends, until the Lord comes. See how patient farmers are as they wait for their land to produce precious crops. They wait patiently for the autumn and spring rains. You also must be patient. Keep your hopes high, for the day of the Lord's coming is near. Amen, Tilder, if you believe it. Psalms 59 verse 16 But as for me, I will sing about your power. Each morning I will sing with joy about your unfailing love. For you have been my refuge, a place of safety when I am in distress. Amen, Tilder, if you believe it. Your destiny and your blessing will be unique, just as you are. But make no mistake, you are headed to a place called greatness and you're headed there this year. But those who wish to boast should boast in this alone, that they truly know me and understand that I am the Lord who demonstrates unfailing love and who brings justice and righteousness to their earth, and that I delight in these things. I, the Lord, have spoken. Jeremiah 9 verse 24 The Lord isn't really being slow about his promise, as some people think. No, he is being patient for your sake. He does not want anyone to be destroyed, but wants everyone to repent. 2 Peter 3 verse 9 But as it is written, I hath not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man, the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. 1 Corinthians 2 verse 9 I'm in love with this quote. When you get what you want, that's God's direction. When you don't get what you want, that's God's protection. It really hit me differently when Charles Spurgeon said, if we complained less and praised God more, we would be happier and God more glorified. 
blessing for today. May God bless you and your family with all the best blessings in life. May his angels lead you and guide you to the right connections. Amen. Isaiah 43 verse 2 When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned, the flames will not set you ablaze. Isaiah 40 verse 31 NIV verse, but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles, they will run and not grow weary, they will walk and not faint. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He shall direct your paths. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Psalm 73 verse 26. Mark 11 verse 25 But when you are praying, first forgive anyone you are holding a grudge against, so that your Father in heaven will forgive your sins, too. Amen. Therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Matthew 6 verse 34 But as for me, I will always proclaim what God has done. I will sing praises to the God of Jacob. Psalm 75 verse 9